Hello again, my friends, and welcome to another YouTube video. What you're about to watch is a compilation of my Percy in High School series as of right now. All the parts are in a playlist on my TikTok if you'd like to go watch it there. But I thought I'd take all the parts that I currently have, put them all nice and neat in the one YouTube video, and would upload that for you guys here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. Check out the rest of the channel. It would mean a lot to me. We've been making some really good growth on this channel, and I want to continue that growth. But I don't want to continue to take up any more of your time. So without further ado, I present Percy in High School. Room 107. Where's that at? Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have a, a guest pass to be in here? Huh? Oh, uh, no, I don't have a guest pass, but maybe you could help me. I'm looking for room 107. Um, yes, I can help you find it once we get you a guest pass off campus. Um, guests need a, a special pass from the office. Are you looking for your child? Is your child a student here? Guest pass? Child? I'm a student here. I, I, I go here. I transferred here this year. Um, right. A student. So, so sorry for the confusion. Um, 107 is... Right down the hallway, uh, second door on the left-hand side. It's no problem. Uh, thank you for your help. <sighs> oh. My. God. Uh, excuse me, coach. I'm looking for the swim tryouts. Let's go, ladies. Pick it up. All right, so the swim tryouts are going to be just through there, but it doesn't look like the team or the coach is here yet, so you can just hang on the bench until they're here. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey, coach, I'm done embarrassing that group of newbies you sent me off with. What do I do now? Damn it, Henderson. I sent you to teach them because I don't have any 185ers for you today. What about the felon you sent towards the bench? Excuse me? I mean, wrestling's no prison fight, but I'm sure you'll do all right. Cool it, Henderson. Nah, it's cool, coach. I could use the warm-up. You sure, son? You ever had any sort of experience or training before? Something like that. Let's just make this quick. Okay. Go! Hot damn! Where did you learn to do that? I go to a good summer camp. Hey, coach. Uh, I'm here for the swim tryouts. Ah, uh, yes, you must be Jackson, that new transfer I've been hearing all about. All right, well, my guys know the drill. Go to the locker room, get acquainted with everybody, change up, and then we'll just be running drills. Sounds good. Thanks, coach. Y'all hear about that new senior transfer that's supposed to be trying out today? Yeah, I've heard he's never even swam before, and as a senior, I don't even know if he's gonna make the team. I mean, I wouldn't write him off. Maybe he's just a natural. Oh. What'd you smack me for? What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Percy. I'm trying out today. It's good to meet you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm Kurt. This is Bobby and Mike. Uh, you'll meet the rest of the guys during drills, so just uh, get changed up. Alright, sounds good. Is this locker taken? It is now. Dude, are you even real? You look like the last guy that would be on a swim team. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Dear God! Dude, what happened to you? Uh, uh, right, cause normal teenagers aren't covered in scars. Um, hold up, hold up. Everybody's been talking about a new kid named Jackson, and you're the transfer student and just said your name was Percy. Y'all, he's that kid from a few years back. Remember he was on the news? Oh my god, you're totally right. I was in Cali when all that happened. You're that fugitive turned hero kid. Dude, that's our bad. You don't gotta explain a thing. We can't imagine what all that must have been like. Oh, yeah, d definitely, absolutely. Um, Thanks for understanding, guys. Well, there's no reason to worry about that now. Nobody's gonna give you a hard time, but Coach is waiting to start tryouts, so let's go. All right, good work today, everyone. Take two minutes to stretch it out and then circle up on me. Thank God. Coach really dialed up the conditioning this year. Honestly, man, that was ruthless. What's up, guys? Good work today. Be honest. How do y'all think I did? How'd you do? That's a joke, right? Dude, you're like a machine. Honestly, dude, did you even sweat that entire time? I mean, look at you. You're not even out of breath. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just in good shape, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, eat your blues, greens, greens. Right, because that's how you end up looking like a Greek god all the time. Well, anyway, whatever you do, it's working, but come on, coach is waiting. All right, everybody, I was very impressed with what I saw today, but I wanted to end the day with some friendly competition. So everybody line up along the pool, 
We're gonna do a 50 meter free to end the tryouts today. All right, Percy, come on, this is it. Nothing crazy, 50 meters, 21 seconds flat, approximately 4.63 knots, let's go. And go. Hm. 21 flat after all that conditioning. <sighs> this kid can't be real, there's no way. Could be here any second. Dude, I'm so out of shape. Same. Plus, I lost like half a second on that 50 time. What's up, Percy? Hmm? Oh, hey, guys. Good work today. Me and the guys are about to head back to my place, order some pizza, play some games. You down? I'm not really much of a gamer. Plus, my girlfriend's on her way to get me, and then I'm taking her out to date night. Speaking of which, there she is. Hey, can you boys help me out? It smells like a seafood market, so I think I'm in the right place, but I'm looking for a fish out of water. Have you seen him? Haha, uh -huh, very funny, wise girl. Guys, this is my girlfriend Annabeth. Annabeth, this is Mike, Bobby, and Kurt. I don't have the words. Dude, this is your girlfriend? One and only. And don't ask him how he did it, otherwise he'll start smoking out of his ears trying to figure it out. You know, we do have a movie to get to, if you're done making fun of me now. Alright, movie's in 10. Do you want to go get snacks? I'll go get the drinks. Drinks? Isn't that a little on the nose for you, water boy? Ha ha. Skittles, please. I know. Alright, got the drinks now. I'm so sorry. Nancy? Watch where you're going. How do you even know my... Jackson? I can't leave you alone for two seconds. Uh, I brought napkins. I'm sorry about him. Oh, don't worry. Hardly the first time this has happened, right, Percy? Annabeth, this is Nancy, that girl I told you about that I pushed into a water fountain. Right. Sorry, but I mean, if you've known Percy that long, you know how clumsy he can be. Clumsy. Right. Next time, just keep your dog on a leash. I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. Do you care to repeat that? Oh boy, here we go. I said keep your dog on a leash, bitch. <laughs> Why can't we never just have a normal date night? When does anything we do ever end normally? Now come on, we have a movie to catch. Right as always, excuse me. That movie was great. I told you you'd enjoy it, didn't I? Okay, okay, yes, I enjoyed it. See, I knew it, I knew. <sighs> Crap, here we go again. That's them, babe, that's a little tramp and her boyfriend that attacked me. So Y'all like to fight, huh? Well, come on then, bitch. Let's see how you do when you can't cheap shot someone. Listen to me carefully. You're going to apologize to my girlfriend and then to everybody in this theater for causing a scene. And then you are going to leave. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Babe, come on, let's go. What? What was that? That? That's just the wolf stare. So while that is the end of the series, I do want to add in the following video for the sake of context for some people that may be a little unfamiliar with the Heroes of Olympus series or may it may have been a while since they read it or maybe you just forgot about this certain plot point or thing that Percy can do. But uh, yeah, this is going to be providing context for how Percy was able to intimidate that guy in the last clip and for why people seem so awestruck and intimidated and amazed by him throughout that series. Alright, I want to address this because I feel like Percy's physical appearance is a pretty significant plot point that a lot of people forget about. Percy is canonically described as 6 feet tall and lean and muscular. Now, I don't think Percy is, like, bodybuilder shredded with a six-pack and all that, because we all know Percy likes his food. But this man is probably a lean 185-190. The dude is built. This dude does not have the appearance of a student athlete that just hits the gym a few times a week. No. This man quite literally has the physique of a Greek God. Canonically, Hazel thought he was a god in a mortal disguise when they met for the first time. And this isn't even covering the rest of his physical appearance. The dude's got a massive tattoo, more accurately a brand, on his arm. He's covered in scars. And the wolf stare? This dude is terrifying. Okay, I didn't do this with my last video, but I wanted to make sure I did it with this one. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. If you didn't make it to the end of the video, you won't see this. But thank you anyway. Thanks for just clicking on the video. If you liked and subscribed, thank you. If you haven't yet, I ask that you consider it. It would mean a lot to me, especially as I'm trying to grow my platform on YouTube. But for now, that's all for me. Thanks, guys. See y'all.